find the area of the white parallelogram. We can see that we have a white parallelogram on the outside of this figure, and on the inside we have this teal color. So what we need to do is find the area of all of the white colors. Well, how do we do that? We need to find the area of the outside piece, and we need to subtract <coughs> this area in the middle. So to do that, we need to find the area of the big parallelogram and subtract the area of the small parallelogram to figure it out. So the larger parallelogram we can solve for, we remember that the area, whoops, area equals base times the height. Now we need to remember that the height is this 90 degree angle going from the base straight to the top. So in this case, it's 8 by 6, and we'll just call these centimeters. So we have area equals 6, I should say, 8 times 6. So, so we have 8 times 6, which is 48 centimeters squared. So that's the area of the larger parallelogram. So that is 48. Next, we need to find the area of the smaller parallelogram. Well, in this case, we have, again, area equals base times the height. We have a base of 4 and a height of x. Well, 4 times x we know is 4 x. So in this case, I can't really simplify it anymore. My area of the white parallelogram is 48 centimeters squared minus 4x centimeters squared. And that's my simplified area. Let's try another one. So in this example, we have the shapes flipped a little, but we can still solve. Again, for the white parallelogram, we need to know the outside figure. If we were just looking for the inside figure, by the way, we would just focus on this one uh, teal piece. But we need to find the white <coughs> figure. So we have area equals base times the height, which is our formula. We have a base of 5 for the larger one. And again, we're going to subtract that smaller parallelogram. So we have a base of 5 and a height of x. 5 times x is 5x. My next figure, we have area equals base times height. Rewrite the formula. Area equals 3 times, I should say, 2 times 3. And when I multiply those two together, my area equals 6 units. So in this case, we have 5x minus 6. So my area equals 5x minus 6. So when solving for these, it's important that you really look at which piece am I solving for? Do I need to add something or subtract it? In this case, we're subtracting it. Think of these as a picture frame. You know, you subtract the picture from the picture frame to solve. So I hope this helps.